Greetings and welcome to Spiritual Wellness Tarot and to your December reading. I thank you for spending some of your time with me. I am so grateful that you have chosen Spiritual Wellness Tarot to help you with your spiritual journey. Now remember to go ahead and watch till the end, Aries, as I will be pulling three cards for your yes or no questions. All right, so we have three rows here. The first row is the 1st through the 10th, then we have the 11th through the 20th, and we have the 21st through the 31st. Now, for those of you who are new here, my name is Julie, and I am a psychic medium here on YouTube, and I use my psychic gifts to go ahead and help encourage those who may be feeling a little lost or just need some insight into the future. All right, Aries, look at I love the middle card, right? The Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups about your wishes coming true. Love that. And then you've got, oh my gosh, and then you're going to end up with the Ten of Cups at the end of the year. Wow, that's crazy, right? Let's go ahead and start off with the Three of Wands here. The Three of Wands is about a good partnership. It's about success. It's about expansion. Time to move forward. And that's what she's doing. She's looking out at the ocean. She's got her, her surfboard in her hand. And she's got, you know, she's got one wand behind her, two wands actually behind her, and the third one in front of her. Time to go ahead and move forward. We've got the Nine of Swords here. And the Nine of Swords is about being exhausted, right? You're having, maybe having some nightmares. Maybe something's been going on that you're not really, you know, you're not really happy with. Things are, are not working the way you have them, right? But with the rest of the cards that are here, I'm not going to worry too much about that. You might have to take a little bit of a rest, but I think everything else is going to be good. We've got the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Wands is that fun, feisty person, right? She's actually the funnest queen out of, the, out of all the suits, in my personal opinion. She's got her wand. She's ready to party. She's got her little stardust, right? She's ready to go ahead and move forward. We've got the Page of Cups here. The Page of Cups is that studious child. You might also have a new love coming in, right? We talked about... Uh, partnership right with this wands here it could be that you have a new partner coming in um, to be involved in a love or it could be just a business partnership that you have coming in there we've got the nine of cups all your wishes are coming true material abundance good health security i love it right especially since it's in the middle then we have the three of pentacles again we have along with the three of wands we have a new project coming up right we have new teamwork a new collaboration so that's that works out great because we've got the, with the two threes threes are all about the initial achievement right the initial movement forward start moving forward we've got the temperance here and that's about harmony it's about having patience and that's what we talked about over here also the the three of pentacles is about patience also so you may have to have some patience when life you know is is going to be a little bit more hectic maybe with the holidays here in the US maybe remember that you have to be stay balanced you have to stay sensible you have to stay patient <laughs> i know that can be hard sometimes right We've got the Six of Cups here, and the Six of Cups is that good memories. And that's what you'll be making with the holidays coming up here, right? You've got the Ten of Cups down here. Again, about family contentment, about love, about support. I really feel that you're going to have a lot of support this month, Aries. Um, and you know what? Again, don't don't even worry about the, um, the Nine of Swords there, because with all of this support that you're going to have, they're not going to let you get into that stinking thinking at all. They're going to go ahead and pull you out of that. And, and you're going to have a great time, right? You're going to go ahead and have that family contentment. And I don't mean family. is It doesn't necessarily have to be love or be um, blood family, right? It could go ahead and be your work family. It could be your friends, your, you know, different relationships that you have. Let's get some clarifiers out here. Now, Aries, remember to go ahead and watch your sun, moon, and rising signs. So you can get that overall energy. Let's see. Oh, we got the not look at all of these um, major arcanas again. Wow, we've got the chariot, the emperor, the death card, the fool came out again. Wow. All right, let's get one more wheel of fortune. Nice. And the seven of pentacles. Great cards, right? All right, Aries. Well, we're going to start off with the Page of Swords, and the Page of Swords 
next to the page of cups pages are about thinking about new ideas right they always like to come up with different ideas they're like they're kind of like your teenagers right they like to go ahead and have fun not really quite sure how they're going to pull it off but they like to have fun and have some new ideas the chariot you're going to move whatever is moving you're going to move fast right if you have a new love life it's going to move fast um, if you have a if you maybe if you have a new job coming up you might have to move across town you might have to move into a different state you might even have to move into a different country right you might get a a promotion that's going to go ahead and allow that um, whether you decide to move across that or take that promotion is up to you the emperor here the emperor is that respected leader right and it might be if you have a new job opportunity with this chariot you might have to ask somebody right and the emperor is your sign right Aries? so you are strong you have the capability of making that decision right but maybe you know it might be that somebody comes up and you can just throw some some ideas off and see what they have to say about the situation right you've got this king of pentacles here you also have this three of pentacles and you have this three of pentacles right since we've got so many pentacles it might be a taurus virgo or capricorn that's coming into your life to help you make a decision You've got the death card. Big changes are coming, right? Time to remove what is not serving you and have these big changes come into you, right? And again, these changes could be along with this chariot moving fast, right? Moving on to a new journey. Time to go ahead and move forward. Lots of action going on here. The king of pentacles the king of pentacles is that solid practical leader he's very he's a, he's a very good investor right he's very wise he thinks he's very intellectual so it might be somebody that you might want to ask you know ask a question for um kings are all about you've got um kings are all about developing new ideas we've talked about the three of pentacles right the three of pentacles is about teamwork about collaboration it's about approval and quality work and i think it's interesting that it's on top of the temperance um because it's it's just you know temperance is about the harmony right time to go ahead and have some harmony well with this collaboration it's going to go ahead and help you have that harmony right it's going to help you get that balance help you be sensible we've got the wheel of fortune here love the wheel of fortune right the wheel of fortune is all about good fortune just like it says progress is happening time for a turning point along with this chariot look we've got the chariot the king of pentacles the wheel of fortune um i'm gonna just forget that nine of swords there right but underneath here we've got the nine of cups and then we also have the six of cups you're gonna have a great december it's just going to be a beautiful december you're going to have good fortune you've got something new coming in you've got a turning point you've got a new beginning with this fool here right time to go ahead and move forward and then we've got the seven of pentacles which the seven of pentacles is about being patient is about hard work right and we kind of talked about that up here things may not happen as fast as you would like them to but they are going to happen they are going to be good fortune they are going to be very um, lucky for you it is going to go ahead and um, whatever this new idea is that you have with this fool you are going to start a new beginning and it's going to be fortune you know it's, it's going to be good for you it's going to be success but you may have to take some time you may have to be patient with it i love this reading this is a great reading right pretty much everything is is positive this nine of swords ah, just get it out of here right you've got the nine of cups the wheel of fortune december is going to be a good month for you aries all right let's go ahead and ask the guides to give us one card for your yes or no answer can i have one card for your yes or no answer please all right first answer is the situation will improve okay second answer angels and spirit guides and remember to go ahead and smash the subscribe button and hit that notification bell aries if this reading did go ahead and resonate with you the second one ask for help from others and that's what i was talking about with this emperor right time to ask for help and it's okay to, it does it's not a sign of weakness if you ask for help i don't care if you're 60 70 80 years old definitely not a sign of weakness we cannot 
all know everything, right? We all need help in one way or another. And let's get one last answer for your yes or no question. You're ready. That's right, Aries. You're ready for this fool, for the new beginnings, right? You're ready to go ahead and move forward into a new project. All right, Aries. Great reading. You have a fabulous, fabulous December. And until next time, I love you all. Namaste.